My seat post is seized. It's stuck, I can't get it up. I got a good idea. This will work. That was stupid. I can't believe I thought this would work. Look at what I did. That's a nice dent. Even though that was a reenactment, I really did that. That's where the dent came from. The seat post got seized. I put the seat post in the vise and started to beat on my bike with a hammer. You would think I'd be smarter than that, but I wasn't. And now I got a big old dent on my bike. But that's not what we're here for. That's not why you want to watch this video. You want to see the best way to clean your cassette and your drivetrain. Let's go. As you can see, very dirty. First, you got to wear the flannel. That's how you know you're serious to do some work. Then you bust out the gloves because you don't want dirty hands. Then you get your tools ready. Here are the tools you need. Degreaser. I got this, it's for cleaning car tires. My brother gave it to me. You can get it at any auto body shop. This guy, I think is only 40 bucks or something. I'll put a link in the description. I thought it was garbage. I'm like, don't waste my time with that thing. That's what I thought. Bought it, very impressed. This is optional. Chain holder when you take the wheel out, whoops. And then a rag. Take the wheel out. Take your degreaser and spray it on the muff, the tire cleaner. Take your degreaser, spray it on the tire cleaner. Take your cassette and scrub it. I like to take the wheel and lean on it up against something like so. Then I take my rag. This is the fun part. So as you can see, I'm just running the rag through. What I love about this is how fast I can get it done. Let's take a look, how's she look? Not bad, eh? You could do it one more time, go over it one more time, but for the sake of this video, I don't think we need to, but you can see she's pretty darn clean. So what's important here is that the chain is level with the ground because when you put your cleaner on, It'll spill out everywhere. So there's a line right here. You fill up with the degreaser, a line right there. That's how you know your level. It has these little latches right here. And it just goes on the chain like so. So what I like to do here is put it in the little ring for a bit. So while it's in little ring, I wipe off big ring. And I make sure to get in behind the crank and I keep turning and turning. Now I take it off and then I wipe the chain down. I like to do the jockey wheels first. I, I have my rag held around the jockey wheels and I spin. Then I do the chain, kick it back up into big ring, keep wiping. I find I can wipe the chain down really well when I hold and wipe while it's on the big ring. I wipe off the little ring. If I don't like the way the chain looks, which is right now because this one was very dirty, I'll just add some more degreaser quickly through the top hole here to get it back up to that line. I'll pop this back on the chain and we spin, spin, spin again. And that's looking much better already. All right, let's look at our finished product. Take the chain thing out, wheel back in. So obviously we could get it cleaner if we really took it apart scrubbed it down, gave it one of those sonic baths or whatever it's called. But it's not bad. It's not bad for how quick it is. And keeping your bike clean, the trick is to really 
do it on a regular basis. Quick video today, guys, on how to clean your drivetrain. This is how I do it. I like to do it fast. I like to do it regularly. I believe that extends the life of my chain, my cassette, my drive, my big ring. So I hope you got something today. I hope you learned something to help you guys clean your bike, to do it more efficiently. And if you got any tips for me, let me know. Put it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you think I could be doing this better, let me know. I'd love to know your tips. That's it, guys. Catch you on the next video. Like, subscribe. See you next time.